My name is Fred Kuntz. I'm Vice President of Public Affairs for CG. I'm here at the 2013 G20 Leaders Summit in St. Petersburg, Russia, and CG has a team of four people here, accredited as journalists, to hang out at the International Media Center. It's a sort of tent city for 1,500 media people, journalists, reporters, and technicians who are covering the summit. And when I say tent city, I mean a sprawling complex of two-story metal frame pavilions fully equipped with every technology that the media would need today. This includes a vast hall that you see behind me where most of the reporters work. It also includes a two-story restaurant serving food 24 hours a day for the whole three days of the summit and a broadcast pavilion set up especially for the television and radio reporters. The leaders meeting and the media center are set up on the grounds of the Konstantin Palace, a former summer resort for the Tsarist leaders of Russia, including Peter the Great and Catherine the Great. It was occupied by the Germans in World War II and virtually bombed into oblivion, but has since been lovingly restored and is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. CG has a few objectives at this summit. One is to report on and analyze the summit through experts' blogs, tweets, and commentaries. The other is to provide our own expert views to the many media who are here just waiting for the final communique on Friday with very little to write before then. To that end, our team is led by Domenico Lombardi, director of the CG Global Economy Program, and CG Senior Fellow Susan Shadler. CG experts have also written their pre-summit analysis in this collection of commentaries, priorities for the G20 summit, which you can find at CG's website, cgonline.org, and we'll be distributing this to the journalists at the Media Centre throughout the summit.